always exciting division. Action packed, high paced. Now Eric Wilson trying to wreck the party. Roland DeLorme. DeLorme is a hell of a fighter, this kid. Uh, both these guys are undefeated, but Eric Wilson has wins over guys that are a little more unheralded. You know, uh, he beat Tony Bibby, who was 2-2 two two at the time, and he beat uh, uh, Archibald, who was 2-0 uh, oh at the time. But DeLorme has two wins over Remy Morvan and a win over Sean Quinn in his last three fights, and those are top ten guys in this country. So based on who they fought, DeLorme should have an advantage in experience. And right away, it seems like DeLorme is the has a stronger presence inside of the cage. Yeah, we don't know much about this Eric Wilson. This guy comes in 4-0. Oh. He's out of Saskatchewan, so we don't know all that well who he trains with. Two of his wins are by footlock, so maybe he's got a bit of a footlock game, but, you know, uh, we don't know much about him, and Roley didn't know much about him to get ready for him. But DeLorme is a tough-as-nails competitor, so let's see how this unfolds. Well, Wilson there trying to push the action. A couple of punches to the head area. One lands. DeLorme's known for his jiu-jitsu game, but uh, he wanted to test his striking here, and, and that's what both guys are doing. It's, it, I'm impressed with Wilson's use of the low kick so far and his movement. He hasn't been uh, hit too solid by anything. DeLorme looking for that takedown. Solid job by Wilson for the time being, but eventually DeLorme does get it to the ground. Already trying to pass. And look at that, trapping the arm of Wilson. Wilson now looking for a footlock, maybe. <laughs> yes. You know, he's working from that half guard position, and he hooked his arm underneath the leg to pull to attack this foot. And look at this setup. This is his ballpark right here. This is where he likes to go to work. And obviously, he has skills here. Switch to the other leg now. And DeLorme forced to defend. Man, this looks like a highly evolved game out of Eric Wilson. He went from a half guard, he used it to sweep and attack the leg, switched to the other leg, and uh, now we see DeLorme on top, but he's already probably learned something about Eric Wilson here. Wilson slipped himself into half guard there. Notice that. Did you see that? He took his own left leg and slipped it under. Now he's trying to set up his left arm underneath Roley's leg again. Let's see if he goes for that same setup off that half guard. And DeLorme, we saw a nice knee to the midsection of Wilson. Looking to do the same thing, trap the arm. There it Wilson. Is. There it is again. Wilson's got the right arm underneath the right, his uh, left arm underneath the right leg of DeLorme, and he was looking for that same sweep to set up that ankle lock off there. But DeLorme is putting pressure down and unloading with the right hand. Viewers at home are saying, all I see is limbs everywhere. It's true. It's true. It's a very, look at this. Now he's got a hold of the foot again. What he's doing is using that half guard to attack that leg and set it up. And if that doesn't work, he gets to be on top. Solid job done by Eric Wilson. You know, when, when you and I are talking, we're having so much fun. You, you made a point there. Not everybody is a jiu-jitsu nerd like us. Uh, and when you look at it, even the use of the word game, we say he's got a good game. Well, you can see Eric Wilson's game. Everybody plays this sport differently. And Wilson uses that game to attack the leg. If he doesn't get the leg, he's now on top. If you're watching this at home and like John Ramdeen just indicated, you're like, what's going on? There's some high-level technical stuff happening in here. Look at Wilson drop uh, for the leg I, I think that's a, a mistake. I think Wilson made a mistake to sit back. He was on top, and now DeLorme is starting to punish the rib area. Uh, I think uh, Wilson really did kind of make a rookie mistake there. But uh, you know what? Sometimes it works out for you. Yeah, Wilson is, or uh, uh, Roland DeLorme is now on top, and you're right. In this case, uh, he gave it up. He gave up a spot where he was on top to attack the leg, and now he's on the bottom being attacked. He lets that pass to half guard go so quickly. And for those watching at home, half guard is when he has one leg under and one leg over here. Man. And you know, the problem I have with some of these jiu-jitsu guys is that they're just too proud of the art and that they really want to finish by locking in a submission, and sometimes the, they abandon the other elements of mixed martial arts. Well, one thing that uh, Eric Wilson's good at is getting a hold of that leg. He's bloodied up a little bit because he's been so committed to it, but see how he's got it? He's trying to convert to a knee he's bar. He's trying to think, but he's up too high. He's past the knee, but instead he's just going to try to get to a better position, but DeLorme, very aware. Look at the pretzel going on in the bottom there. For people Almost looking at that. A calf slicer. It looks like it could be. 
Is that what he's trying to go for? Yeah, for most people, that's the the guy on top is dominant. He's putting pressure on the calf, like you said. But for Eric uh, Wilson here, he's trying to set things up using these legs to force your foot or knee to come to him. It's a fascinating game this kid has. And uh, Roland Delorme has been on top for more of this round. Maybe it's his round, but uh, he's got to learn how to play this game that Eric Wilson's throwing at him or make it irrelevant somehow. And the round comes to an end. Uh a very strange round to have to judge because it really was back and forth, but Delorme was on top, I think, for the most part, and he did the most damage. You see blood trickling out of the nose of Eric Wilson, and uh, if I was the judge, God, I just, I would say, I have no idea what I would say. <laughs> I, I don't know. I would have to say if you're going to lead towards one fighter, it has to be Delorme. I think so, too. I mean, he was on top. He bloodied up his opponent. You know, his foot was being held by Eric Wilson a couple times. His knee had some pressure. But there was no really deep submission attempts. So I think that was Roland Delorme's round. And, but you know what? This is a fascinating look and fight the way that it's starting to develop. Uh, if you're Delorme, maybe just forget this game. Keep it standing. Delorme is a proud, highly skilled jiu-jitsu guy. But maybe keep this on the feet for a while because Eric Wilson's throwing things at you that most people don't, don't throw. Why play, why play the game if that's the guy's game? Yeah, it's a risky, risky proposition. This fight is interesting for different reasons to different people. You know, if you're an MMA fan, you're seeing something fought in a way that you don't normally see it. And if you're a jiu-jitsu person, you know, you're, you're watching a guy with a very, very specific, you know, uh, type of, of attacking game as he's attacking the legs of Roland Delorme. We are getting set for round number two. Roland Lorm with the black shorts with the Canadian flag. I think him and Dominic Blaze might have switched uh, <laughs> using each other's gear. I know the good people over at Tap Out. Uh, it's a big shout out to Cyril over at Tap Out. They do sponsor uh, the Whamma guys, so maybe they sent them all these Canadian shorts. Good looking shorts, but shorts don't win you fights, even Tap Out shorts. And Delorme gets the takedown, and again, I think he's playing right into the hand. Of Eric Wilson. Well, look at Wilson setting up the half guard. See, he, most guys will try to uh, to regard there. Wilson could causes the movement in his own hips to set up a half guard, and from that half guard, he takes. He's going to look to take this right arm, scoop it underneath the left leg of Delorme. There it is. Looking to watch for it here, right. See the right arm. See the left leg. He's looking for that, and he'll. There it is, and he yeah, uses it to sweep job. around. Nice job. It, it looks like. Wilson clearly knows what he's doing in these positions. Man, he's like one of these guys like, uh, John, who's that kid, uh, Cody McKenzie, who's got that uh, crazy guillotine on the Ultimate Fighter show. This Eric Wilson's like that. We've seen this guy be setting up the same thing over and over again, and it's fascinating. And it works, and you know that DeLorme knows that he's going to do that but he still finds a way to do it. Absolutely, and you know that Curtis Brigham is one of the very best coaches going, especially in jiu-jitsu, and he told him exactly what's happening here in between rounds. And look at this heel hook attempt. And he is trying to get the submission victory here. A solid job by Eric Wilson. If you didn't know his name before, you know his name now. And you know it in conjunction with half guard attacks on the on the leg and foot area. Man, that's what this kid does. This jiu-jitsu game is such a malleable world and everyone plays it different. Some guys spend their time working entirely a top game. Some guys spend exact same percentages everywhere and become well-rounded. And this kid has spent time developing this one attack and every variation on your defense and ways to defend against your defenses and counter your counters, and that's his game. Let's watch again. Watch his left arm this time on the right leg of Delorme. Watch for it to scoop underneath and set up that same attack if it's there. See, he's, he's tucked in under here. He's found a little safe zone that, you know, doesn't exist to most people, but he's gotten accustomed to Ah, oh, there you go. That's what Roly has to do. Now he's starting to sense it, and he's moved to the other side. But because Wilson's half guard game is so good, he caught him in that one. Now he'll look to use the right arm under the left leg here. Just trying to readjust. Get the feel of Delorme. Is Wilson. Interesting second round. We're halfway through it now. And Wilson had a, a couple actually better attacks. And uh, Delorme hasn't done quite as much in the way of damage. So this is a much closer round. Still Delorme's on top dictating though. And that's what it comes down to. I can understand if Wilson was throwing up submission attempts. But, you know, besides the one... 
Well, here comes another one. Same exact setup. And oh, this now. time it is a footlock. And it looks like it could be deep. He is cranking it here. And there's no question this time uh, Roley's in pain. He is feeling this. You can see it in his face. Man. Wilson had to abandon that. He switches to the knee bar, it looks. It looks like he is DeLorme kicking the thigh or butt area to try to escape and pull his foot out. And now DeLorme looking for the footlock. Look yeah, at he's, these guys playing footsies. <laughs> DeLorme's attacking the foot as well. Look at this there, reverse there. heel hook. Oh, that looks painful. Can DeLorme sur survive this? Yeah. A minute and... Ten seconds left in the second round. Now we got to go and look the other direction. Maybe even though Rolly's been dictating, we just saw Eric Wilson put his limbs in jeopardy two, three, four times there in a sequence. And you saw the grimace on the face of DeLorme, so you know they were affecting him. Now DeLorme's looking for a different kind of pass from this half guard. He's switched over, and he's putting pressure on the tricep area now. But look at this. Well, look at this, Wilson. Any time. And now he's taking the back of DeLorme. I... You know, Delorme said uh, he hasn't, he wasn't able to study this guy. Well, you know, it's an unfortunate thing because right now Wilson is looking really sharp, very sharp. And you know, this is a, a, more than anything a case of a surprise attack. No, there's no way to prepare for this guy. Look at this armbar attempt here. Can he get it? This kid is on fire. Man, Oma Plata attempt, and lands a good punch for good measure. If you, you know, the next guy Eric Wilson faces, win or lose, has some footage to be able to look for this game. But we're only coming into this. All he knew was he was a 4-0 kid. And Eric Wilson just might have stolen round two from Roland DeLorme right here at CFC. I will say that's a fair assessment. I will say a round apiece. But what do I know? All I do know is that we have one more round between these two guys. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wilson comes in from Saskatchewan, some unheralded gym, you know, from a camp of guys that we don't know. But it just goes to show you right across the country and all over the world, kids are in these labs learning this game. It's, it's evolving so fast that Eric Wilson is surprising Winnipeg here. DeLorme has got to pull it together and, and uh, stay out of that spider web of leg attacks if he's going to win this fight. Eric Wilson taking some serious deep breaths. Sure, it's safe to say that this is the toughest fight of his young career. Yeah, absolutely. Man, where the hell did Eric Wilson come from? You know, you take a look at that kid's ears, certain things you can figure out. He shows up at the weigh-ins, and you look at those ears, and you go, well, this kid either wrestled or has done a lot of jiu-jitsu. And uh, I don't care if you're in uh, Saskatoon or Timbuktu. I mean, there's there's a, a game evolving in jiu-jitsu on a global level, and this kid's part of it. Referee Herb Dean signaling the beginning of the third round from our co-main event. Still to come, our main event, Eric Perez taking on Remy Morvin. But right now, it's Eric Wilson landing a nice one-two. And man, this kid isn't just leg attacks. Very nice striking. You know, n nice and basic. He's landed good leg kicks on those softened up legs, and I don't think that's a coincidence either. He is game. Yeah. You know, when you when you can attack a guy's knee, ankle, heel, everything, and then land leg kicks like that one, you are building it a specific type of game. This is a very talented kid. Nice leap in, knee by Delorme, and then secures the takedown after it. But, you know, he's right back here. He's got to be able to do damage. This fully evolved Wilson kid with his evolved strange game here not only has those attacks, but he's keeping himself pretty safe from his set-up position of half guard here. And but, when, uh, when DeLorme did finally get that one pass, he scrambled and ended up on top. This is a good spot for DeLorme. Wilson pushed up against the cage as DeLorme fires at some shots. Look at this, there's the arm Wilson, under the Wilson leg attack again. Again. Yeah. again, very, very confident with this, uh, with this submission attempt and it works every time. Now he got a sweep out of it. And oh. sits back down. A little tired. Now, see, most guys would regard right here. They'd take that right leg and wrap it all the way around. Let's see. You know, we haven't seen him. Instead, look at, watch, he, he slides the same his thing. underneath. Yeah. You know, it, it takes a certain amount of intellect. Look at this. Setting up another attack. Looking for the leg again. 
is Eric Wilson. Man, you gotta love jujitsu because it is a always changing game. And this kid, you know, in his school, in uh, look at he's setting up that heel hook again. He is definitely tired and hurt though, and that might swing things rolling Delorme's way here. But right now he's attacking that uh, outside of the knee with pressure on that leg. You ever seen a fight like this, John? No, it's, uh, you know, the only thing I can think of, uh, you know. It's kind of like Sakuraba Carlos Newton, where they just kept going back and forth trying to lock in things. And it's uh, really uh, something special to watch when you when you know what he's going to do, but he continues to do it. Yeah, and there he is attacking it again. And, you know, this is no slouch. Roland Delorme is a high-level jiu-jitsu guy. Top 10 bantamweight in Canada, 6-0 and coming into this fight with two wins over Remy Morvan, who's a top jiu-jitsu guy in his own right. I mean, Eric Wilson is making this work against a high-level dude. We see his feet on the cage, trying to push off. No, instead, I think you're right. Tire, tired is Eric Wilson. Fatigue starting to set in. Man. I'm interested to talk to referee Herb Dean after. You talk to a guy like that, he's seen thousands and thousands of fights. Let's see if he's ever seen one quite like this. Just so unique. And it really looked like Wilson was maybe thinking about a triangle choke. Maybe decides now, okay, I'm going to mix things up with a minute 45 left in the final frame. Well, if it, you know, if this guy is as much of a thinker as it feels like he is, you attack those legs so long, you get your opponent thinking legs, and all of a sudden you swing up. Look at this. Another set. Look at his setups. He's got just crazy, crazy setups. This one is across the torso with his, the shin bone, and he's using it to rotate him and now attack this leg. Look at this. And use it to get and on top. And he gets on top. Like, this is simply incredible to watch. Right now, I mean... Man, oh. The knee bar is coming. Can he secure it on Delorme? Delorme needs to put that foot in the butt and just push off and slide that leg out. Double knee bar. What is happening here? Just limbs everywhere, and that looks tight. But no, Delorme able to pull his leg free for the time being. Man, uh, how do you score this? Round three, Delorme has been having to react to the initiation of Eric Wilson. And, and, and you know, I, I just don't know. It, it comes down to what the judges are looking for. If they stay within the guidelines of uh, the scoring criteria. And it looks like Eric Wilson is trying to end this fight each and every time. He's trying, and these aren't half uh, half attempts. He is really trying to end this fight. And, and Delorme is having to defend. Delorme is not attacking Eric Wilson in this round because he's having to defend these knee bars and heel hooks and ankle locks. And look at, he's showing grimace in his face. I'm thinking Eric Wilson is about to hand Roland Delorme his first loss. Can you imagine? Le Ten seconds left to go in the fight. Can Eric Wilson get the tap out? Oh, oh and he looks like he's in serious pain. And Robin, I think I have to agree with you as the bell sounds. I think Eric Wilson won this fight. Man, this is a crazy battle. And Delorme gets up. He is not happy with this. Curtis is telling him to hold his hands up in the air and sway those judges in the last second. But man, close fight. He wasn't able to initiate any offense in that third round.